we shall now renovate the TU-250 gas spring model. These instructions also apply for the X-350 to X-4200, HT-250, and K-500 to 5000 gas spring models. Please note, use only original color repair kits when servicing and maintaining the gas spring. We'll also be using original color tool kits containing all specialized tools needed to service and maintain the gas spring. Some models need more tools and adapters than are pictured here. You'll also need standard workshop tools that are not included in the tool kit. More information on the tools required can be found in our service instruction booklet. To avoid damage to the gas spring, soft jaws should always be used when fixing the gas spring in the vise. Check the gas spring model against the repair kit number to ensure the correct repair kit is used. Begin by discharging the nitrogen gas pressure. Use an Allen key to remove the protective plug. The special valve tool has two functions. One is to open and discharge the gas pressure. The other to remove or install the valve itself. Carefully open the gas valve with the valve tool and relieve the gas pressure. For safety reasons, never attempt to remove the valve completely until the gas pressure has fully discharged. With the valve tool still in place to keep the valve open, push the end of the piston rod in to ensure all gas pressure has been discharged. Now, use the opposite end of the valve tool to unscrew the valve. Remove the valve using the valve tool or needle nose pliers from the tool kit. Stand the gas spring upright and knock the guide down using the appropriate mounting sleeve, thus exposing the lock ring. Carefully remove the dirt cover with a screwdriver. Use the lock ring tool to remove the lock ring. Grip as near the opening of the lock ring as possible and lift straight up. Caution! The lock ring will fly out of the tube. Discard the used protective plug, dirt cover, valve and lock ring. New ones are provided in the repair kit. To remove the piston rod assembly from the tube, First, thread the special tool into the threaded hole in the top of the piston rod. The piston rod and guide may now be removed by pulling the assembly straight up. Remove the guide from the piston rod. Allow the oil to drain from the tube. The tube and piston rod are to be reused and must be cleaned thoroughly. Clean the components carefully using a degreasing liquid. Dry using compressed air. Examine the components for scratches or damage that can lead to leakage. Pay particular attention to surfaces inside the upper portion of the tube and to the piston rod surface. Open the repair kit and check the contents against the list contained in the service instructions. To prevent oil from running out of the tube, fasten the tube at an angle with the valve hole pointing upwards. Lubricate the upper inner end of the tube. Fill the gas spring with the correct amount of oil as indicated in the service instructions. Make sure to lubricate all seals. Fit the guide to the piston rod making sure the piston rod scraper faces upwards. If unsure, check the service instructions before fitting the guide. 
Place the piston rod assembly in the tube and push the guide in. Tap the guide into the tube using the appropriate mounting sleeve to expose the lock ring groove. Mount the new valve and use the valve tool to screw in finger tight. The gas spring may now be stood upright with no oil leakage. Now, fit the lock ring. Position one of the open ends of the lock ring in the groove and press the lock ring in by hand or using a plastic mallet. Use the special piston tool to pull out the piston rod assembly so that the guide sits flush with the tube's upper surface. If the guide does not sit flush with the tube's upper surface, it has been assembled upside down. Fix the gas spring horizontally in the vise with the gas charging port facing upwards. Before charging the gas spring, make sure you have the correct gas. Use only nitrogen in tube gas. Use of other gas can be dangerous. Always use a pressure regulator connected to the nitrogen gas bottle. Make sure the shutoff valve is closed. Ensure the sealing washer is in place and undamaged. This model does not require an adapter. Open the gas bottle valve and check the pressure gauge on the left to ensure the bottle has enough pressure. Adjust the pressure regulator to the correct level for the gas spring. Make sure the gas spring's max pressure is not exceeded. Max pressure is always stamped on the side of the tube. Mount the charging armature to the gas spring. Check that the evacuation valve is closed. Slowly open the shutoff valve and wait until the pressure gauge needle stops rising. This is the preset charging pressure. Close the shutoff valve. Open the evacuation valve to dissipate pressure in the armature. The charging armature can now be safely disassembled. Affix the protected plug and tighten. It's important to do this as the protected plug has a sealing function. Finally, mount the dirt cover. The gas spring is now ready for use.